You know it. It's going to be creamy, delicious, and it's July. And believe it or not, it's inaugural World Guacamole Month, initiated by the World Avocado Organization. Timing couldn't be better with the Olympics officially kicking off on Friday, which means many of us will be watching and reaching for those little TV tidbits as well as snacks. But why not ditch the high-fat chips and dips and other traditional TV nibbles for quick, no-fuss guacamole that is nutritious and delicious and made by Graham? I mean, (laughs) what else can you ask for? Let's think about that for a second. Take us through chef i right. um i'm really excited about the fact that guacamole has become the official food of the olympics right okay this i can get <laughs> down with i love it it's something simple it's fresh it's delicious and it's uber healthy and we are so blessed yeah. to have the most amazing avos in our country the avo growers association here it's one of the best in the world the rest of the world wants our avocados yes or avocado yeah, um, avocado, yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to rock and roll with today. We've got some beautiful avos here. Um, and it's simple. I mean, you can spice this up with, with flavors that yeah. you really like. I would probably add a little bit of heat to this. Um, I'm also a heat fan. In fact, my favorite fruit is habanero. So I would uh, I'd throw some <laughs> habanero in there, blow somebody's head off at the you table. You know that I, I made the mistake of rubbing my eyes after oh, chopping no. a, a habanero, and I haven't gone back since, to be honest. No. I don't trust myself anymore. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is the one thing we're going to add you, which people might not necessarily, yes. um, because you might have like a, a, a guac and a salsa yeah. separate from each other. We're kind of combining the two to get the most out of that flow. Now, you check one of the Avo tips that we, we were given last week. If I the Avo's really that. ripe... That was one of the boop. coolest tips that yeah. I've ever seen, by the way. That was actually um, looked really, really awesome. We're all I about that. So what I did there was I just pushed the back of the Avo to get the, um, the pip out so you don't have to kind of... Because um, there's that whole knife trick that you learnt on the food yeah, channels. And then they were like, like yeah. uh, And it is it exciting to... to um, but this one um, is really simple. And obviously, when making a guacamole, you want to make sure that your avos are perfectly ripe, as these are. They are beautiful. They are buttery. I can tell. And also, they're creamy. From here, I can see yeah, it's no, as creamy and it's gorgeous magical. and it's delicious. Um, and I don't know how you feel. I mean, you could probably even blend it if you really want to go that far. But I quite like it a bit more chunky, a bit more rustic, if you I, will. I, I also enjoy that because you want to taste exactly what you're tasting. Because the thing is, uh, let's be honest, avocado is... I mean, traditionally, avocados, they're just very, very ripe um, avocados. So the guacamole was just mashed together. But yeah. now with the additives uh, that you can put in there, you start to taste each one of these flavors. And I think av- avocado <laughs> is just a great vehicle for flavor. It, it really is. Um, it's a beautiful foil. So let's talk about the flavors that are going in here. I've got some smoked paprika. Oh, that's beautiful. And again, to the taste. Best. To taste, okay? It's all about what you like. Yes. Um, I've got some salt and pepper to taste. I Thank love uh, a lot of black pepper with my ever. So I often just eat an ever with just yeah. a little bit of vinegar and tons of black pepper. That all for right. me is gold. But we've got a bit of, black, bit of pepper going in there. Very, very good. Then we've got some chopped um, spring onion. See, okay, which see, is going to give a nice textural element. And then a must for me is finely diced red onion. It's got a lovely sweet flavor profile. It's going to also give you another textural element. So if you're going to be dipping then, chips into this guy, you're going to get the crunch. Bit. You, you went what? Like as what? far as you could with that tomato. What are you dude? talking about? I just gave hey? you a nice. It's just a it's yeah. a dice. Oh, that is you some fine dice. dicing. You just wanted well to dice. That's, 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 that's finely. You should see where the racetrack dice. and watch me dice there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, was, but was... Look at that. That's beautiful. It's got color, which means you know you're getting uh, a truckload of nutrients in there as well. Um, and as you say, the ever becomes a wonderful foil for the other flavors. It does. <clears> it does. Excuse me. I think I snipped some of the per- smoked paprika. It happens to the best um, of us. Yes. For me, I would I would honestly add maybe a little birds like chili or something in there just to, or, or, to elevate or the Or something heat. more chilled, like a jalapeno, I think, if you just remove the seeds. Jalapeno! Then, then, <laughs> then, because I, I love the, the little kicks of heat that you get, because the um, avocado slash avocado <laughs> uh, is actually quite a nice coolant for, oh. for chili, which um, is also very, very good. L- lest we forget... Yes, um, don't, uh, don't forget the okay, zest and, of life. And this is for a number of reasons. Obviously, the flavour profile, because you always want to have a bit of acidity with everything. A bit of salt, Definitely. a bit of sweet, a bit of acidity. Um, and, oh, that smells so fresh. And I love um, the fact that this is also something that you can... I mean, everything can go into guacamole. I mean, yeah. you can go chips, you can go, you know... I, I mean, I would even go as far... I know it would be, like, fat and fat, but I would do, like, cheese sticks and just yeah, dip in there sure, yeah. as well. Take a slice of avocado. Yeah, I actually <laughs> just... would do that. I would take a little avocado and I'd dunk it in the guacamole. Okay, why not, right? Uh, why am I putting... 
Okay, yes, we want the acidity from yes. the flavour profile, but why else am I putting the, the lemon juice in the, this The one? assumption is that the citric acid stops the oxidization process of the avocado. You, you know what assumptions are. <laughs> I just, uh, I just, I'm assuming that that's what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are on the money. Am so I? You, Thank you. Uh, if you don't want your avo to go brown um, or oxidise, you, you've got to use the lemon juice or that acidity. And if you've kind of cut, and it's a good thing, if you're storing half of an yeah. avo in the fridge, Put a bit of lemon juice on it and it will stay green and beautiful and fresh. Buddy, do you want to wander your way across the Well, I mean, this is what, I, that's what you did earlier, isn't it? This yeah, is I, so I, I thought a platter for my booze. Did you see the cheeses? Yeah, I told you the cheese. That, um, the, the dunking of the yeah, cheese works there. Yeah, wine and cheese. Celery. And I mean, you can really, this is such a great spread if you are going to be entertaining as well. Um, of course, the, the COVID-friendly way is to make sure they get the toothpicks going. Yeah. Supposed to everybody dunking in. Just don't in. double no, dip. Don't, don't double, double dip, dip the guacamole. That's okay, a go for it. Grab a chip there. I'm going to go for a chip, yeah. I'm going to go for one of these because it's your made this earlier. And let's go for it. Nice crunch, nice Fifty. mouthfeel. Huh? Chunky. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Wow. Aromatic smoke paprika mm. coming to the nose. Very, very beautiful. And I think I want to know where to get this recipe, please. Yeah, you can find it on expressoshow.com. Thank you. I actually can't stop chewing now. Go. I'm going to take go, go, go. Vos and guacamole. Oh, let's make it South African. No, you didn't. Andale! <laughs> Add an AVO, nurtured in South Africa.